Hello and welcome back to Planet Stronghold Colonial Defense. I'm assuming I have to use Mario in this one. But I'm limited to in the number of cards I can take, so... Just the flamethrowers, ditch the laser turrets, ditch the sharpshooters, because I like them but they're pricey, and ditch the battle drones, and there we go. So what are some of Mario's cards? The Demolition Squad. On summon, kill target enemy with wall. That's potentially extremely useful. Either way. <sighs> this is the problem with being out late last night. So we have to finish within 10 turns or we'll explode. That would suck. Okay, everybody. Pile on there. Double attack, anti wall stuns a random unit, start of the owner's turn. Again, I think it wise if I killed him. Oh, my robo I do that. Summon in a marksman team. Everybody with an attack, hit there. And everybody with an attack hit there again. Good job. We better get a move on, Captain. We have just 20 minutes to get out of here. Understood. Let's get out before reinforcements arrive. Of course, we wouldn't have had this problem if you just let me. No nukes. All right, all right. Oh, I love a peep. <clears throat> I say the problem is I was out late last night. You know, because I had me uh, sword fighting and, uh, you know, ended up having to give my fencing master a lift. Well, it wasn't exactly a lift home, it was a lift to his girlfriend's place because his car's broken. And for some stupid reason, the last train from um, Newcastle to Almouth, where he actually lives, leaves at 20 to 10. And our class finishes at half nine. And we almost always overrun, so there was no way he could get to the train station. Yo, know, in time to catch that last train home. To be fair, yo, know, at least Wickham wasn't too far out of my way, but still, boy, man, I had to go back home over the A1, which currently has major roadworks on it. So I ended up having to do this ridiculous dog leg that took me about four miles round the long way to do what was about a couple of hundred yards down the motorway. <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway, hey, Captain, come sit with us. Well, I have a few moments, so sure. So, Mario, are you going to sign up for another term when this tour of duty's done? Oh, oh, oh Christ. Mm. No, I don't think so. You may not believe it, but there are actually other things I want to do with my life. What? Shooting aliens getting old? There is one problem. They tend to shoot back. My reflexes aren't what they used to be. Taking into account your body's deterioration, I could devise a power suit which will give you the movement of a 20-year-old. Then you might as well paint red neon concrete circles over my heart and back. Mario traces a circle over his heart and then gives a slight thump in his chest as if he'd been shot. He slumps briefly in the chair before writing himself back up. I would think you wouldn't mind the extra protection. And there's a reason those soldiers tend to be in their own squads. In mixed units, those in power armor are 50% more likely to suffer a case of being dead. And frankly, I do intend to make it until I retire. And why are you retiring? You haven't told us. Interesting. There is even a restricted access on your file from when you enlisted to when your deployment is up. Some would owe me a little favor. I have no plans to be the person who says just X number of days until I retire, and then get a bullet in my head just as I muster out. That seems a little overly paranoid, even for you, Mario. I don't know. It makes sense not to tempt fate. I wonder what do you plan to doing when you're finished? Well, I've already figured that out. I have a place in Porto Ecole in Tuscany near the coast. I'll be opening my own restaurant. Sounds delightful. No, I miss the smell of the sea. I've just paid it off, so when I muster out, it's all mine. Query. So if the consumables don't please you, will you beat yourself up? That makes no sense, Lucius. It seems I still need practice with my human algorithms. If you're in the area, stop by, Captain. We've got a four-star meal. Be on the house. 
Oh, except for you, Crystal. It'll be cash up front. You wound me, old friend. You know that? You know what you did. I appreciate the offer, but are you sure? I mean, I don't feel the same way about aliens that you do. We're just going to agree to disagree. And if we were off a special dinner guest, say a mandarin, as long as someone doesn't try to shoot the place up, you can bring a plethic. So, Captain, do you have any plans for when you retire? Hmm. Well, if she's made captain, that implies she's probably got to be career military. Because because the way they, you know, given that she's effectively in charge, that implies she's, you know, roughly the equivalent of a navy captain rather than an army captain. And it's still annoying that you know both the navy and the army have the rank captain, and it mean and it does not mean even slightly close to the same thing. You know, at least lieutenant in the army and lieutenant in the navy are not hideously far apart in rank. It's only one grade. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, she's career military. I'm a career woman through and through. Well, I wish you luck with that. You better make it into the highest ranks, though, or they can force you out. It wouldn't be my choice, unless I'm the one giving the orders. I would love to have a small, quiet place away from everyone and everything. Sorry about that moment of reflection, Captain. I know you have other things you need to do. I'll talk to you later. As you enter the science lab, you hear an anguished voice. One that you've never heard before in the colony. Please, whoever you are, let me go. Ugh! The captive is well and truly captured, Mitsuki. He is struggling, rubbing the skin off his wrists. But there is no way for him to escape. Excellent. Keep the door closed and alert me if anyone else approaches. Mitsuki, I have helped you up to now, but this... Lucius, you know why I'm doing this and you agreed. If you want to leave, the door's right there. Who the hell is she torturing? There you two are. I've been searching for you all over. Captain, to what do I uh, owe the pleasure? I was going to see if you could improve the AI of the targets in the shooting range. And it does little good if they aren't shooting back. Sure thing, Captain. We'll get right on it in a couple of hours. We're sort of busy at the moment. Please, let me go. I'll do anything. Just what are you playing? This seems to be rather realistic. We're testing a new survival horror simulation. It's quite realistic. Please, if you don't let me go. Do you know who my dad is? He's Ishii Tanaka. Match confirmed, Mitsuki. You have the son of the Oberon you didn't capture. Damn it, Lucius, so you let the cat out the bag. Odd, Rimi wasn't meant to be here for this operation. Lucius, double check your expression algorithm. <sighs> I knew there was something wrong here. Where is this boy? Why is he strapped to a chair? Look, Captain, I can explain. The subject's heart rate is rising, breath is rapid, and pupils are dilating, but otherwise remains unharmed. From what the literature says, the subject is in a state of terror. Do you wish me to lower the neural mapper and capture his fear as a prelude? For the love of heaven, I want an explanation, and I want it now! <sighs> Look, I told you about what happened to my brother earlier. I managed to take care of all those who heard him, whether directly or indirectly. All but one. The Oerbun who ordered the hit. He went to ground and remained anonymous. Until now. His son made a purchase using his real name flagged one of my dormant programs. Simple matter to remotely control some robots and capture the boy. Nor did it take long to get him to reveal where his father is hiding. <sighs> Fine. I might not agree with the means, but you ferreted out the information you need. Good. Maybe I missed the step explaining why you're terrorizing the boy. E.G. tortured my brother before he died. I remember every scream my brother did. I'm just looking to balance the scales. Hold on. You're going to... The neural interface is ready to go. In fact, I improved it so Ichi will feel every ounce of his son's pain. What are your plans with the boy? He is to be released after we finish with the procedure. He will survive long enough to make it to the hospital, and his genetic profile says he will be receptive to regen. I'd like to know how you can justify that with a do-no-harm restriction you're supposed to have. I am given some leeway. The boy will be healed of his injury, so this will balance out moral equivalence. Congratulations on becoming more human. 
while I might regret that an innocent to be harmed, I have my family's honour to consider, Captain. So unless you decide otherwise, I have some bloody business to finish. No, I'm sorry. You're not torturing a child. Don't get me... Yo, if it was the guy who'd ordered the hit in that chair, maybe I'd let you do it, but no. Let the boy go, Mitsuki. Revenge yourself on the father if you must, but don't bring other innocents into this. Fine. Have it your way. Lucius, release the boy. Lucius, a word of warning. Weigh carefully what you do today, because as of today, you're an accomplice. I have some cleanup to do, Captain. I won't to be... He, I won't be able to make it look like it was a hit by another gangster. That was grim. <sighs> Galena, what kind of timetable do we have? My sources are accurate, we have two more hours. We might have more. Gambling with our colony safety is a sucker's bet. I'll have to give Kristoff credit. We found out someone was on the margin payroll, he came right to me for help. Well, I'm glad he has a healthy sense of self-preservation. He jumped into the fray. We'd all be regressing back to cavemen thanks to their regression gas. Say what you want about their genetic engineering, Queen Shelley can get very creative with her attacks. Not that you notice with some people. <laughs> you don't think I'd be a good Neo-Neanderthal? If anyone can make a hairy brown knuckle-dragging attractive, it'd be you. I just don't get why our own people would betray us. That's even assuming they're in control themselves. Brainwashing? It's possible. And again, blackmail, kidnapping a loved one can also work. My money's on psionic control. Roselli will know what to look for. The Empire really needs to get a better handle on psionics. Not just to protect people from manipulation, but to give Griselli a respite. She rarely complains, but I know she's usually wiped. We certainly shouldn't cordon the block. These people are all potential victims if we fail. You look around at various people going about their business, unaware of the peril they're in. I know, Captain. It goes against everything in my gut to leave everyone in danger. But if we send to the troops, we'll tip our hand to the perpetrators. Could release the gas, which also explains why we're not in uniform. Correct. We blend in, less likely to arouse suspicion. I think it's best if we separate. Whoever sus spots the suspect, calls the other. Lena nods in agreement, and she transmits the data. You take a good look at the suspect's image until it's memorized, and then disappear into the crowd. You slowly move along, making sure not to draw any undue attention, when you notice your suspect going into a building. We have our target. I'll await your arrival. On my way. Okay, ooh, we only get ten cards on this one, and once again I'm assuming we need to take... There she is. You got Minefield, which is actually quite nifty, but... Uh... Target enemy unit gives double its bounty value credits when killed. Put an allied renegade sniper unit into play. Anywho, uh, t -t 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 probably ought to drop some missile turrets. Let's drop the marksman teams and all of the regular infantry guys. Okay, I want to deploy a grenadier unit. Throw your grenade, come out of the equation. Deploy a... I can't deploy a turret, but I can deploy a robo-ant. Grenadier, hit that rebel. Deploy regular infantrymen. Deploy regular infantry, okay, Mr. Robo-ant. Kill one of them. Okay, and you two, fire, fire. And everybody just pile on, and that's victory. Our mission was technically a success, but I left a foul taste in my mouth. You don't often see people fighting to the death. And the way they acted, they couldn't have resisted if they wanted to. More sonic domination? The Madrids are trickier than even I thought. Right, well, that seems like an excellent point to end this part, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.